Hi everyone! So, here we are again on another tutorial video that na alam kong makakatulong sa ating mga teachers. Alright? So, today, on this video, we will be discussing or I will be discussing to you the requirements on how to become a master teacher. So, this will, is applicable from master teacher 1 to master teacher 4. And also, I will be showing to you an actual samples of MOVs that I have used during my promotion and uh, how are we uh, how will be the MOVs be credit be credited so all of this is based on the Mac order number 10 series of 1979 so before we start for those who are just new to my channel please don't forget to like share leave a comment down below and also you can click the notification bell down below so you'll be notified for my upcoming videos and of course please don't forget to subscribe thank you all right so before we start our discussion uh ilalatag ko muna sa inyo yung comparison between the promotion and reclassification of positions all right so for promotions uh this refers to the advancement of one position to another with an increase in duties and responsibilities and usually accompanied by an increase in salary all right so ito yung pinaka gusto na uh, basic na alam natin uh, nagkakaroon ng increase in duties and responsibilities as well as in the salary. Alright? So, nag advance tayo from one position to a higher position. Okay? And next, promotion may only be resorted if there is a vacant item due to retirement, promotion, or transfer. Ayan. So, kapag uh, nagkakaroon lang ng promotion kapag mayroong nababakanting item. And there is a resulting vacancy of an item once a promotion is secured. Okay, ayan, nagkakaroon ng bakante. Let's say, for example, I got my promotion for Master Teacher 1. So, yung Teacher 3 na item ko, once na nakuha ko na yung promotion ko ng Master Teacher 1, magiging bakante yung Teacher 3 and magkakaroon ng, iba, ng chance yung teacher 1 and teacher 2 na makuha yung iiwanan kong item na teacher 3 kasi nga magkakaroon ng vacancy. Alright, so this also needs 3 rating period from the last appointment. Ayan. Reclassification. Alright, so this refers to the change in the position title requiring the issuance of an appointment with a corresponding increase in rank and salary. Ayan, so again, same lang din sila ng promotion, magkakaroon ka ng change in position. Of course, yung change in position na to will be higher position from your present position that you are holding. Okay, so... Also, this shall apply only to field regular position in the national government. Ayan, so na, sa national government items lang po ito. There is no vacant item once the item is reclassified. Meaning, hindi magkakaroon ng vacant position. Again, example, uh, ma, ma, pupunta, uh, mapupunta ako sa Master Teacher 1. So, kung Teacher 3 ako, pupunta ako ng Master Teacher 1 at kapag nareclass ako, walang bakanting item ng teacher tree. Kasi bit-bit ko pa din yung item ko. Napalitan lang yung aking position. Okay? So, yun yung, yung talagang pinagkaiba ng promotion and reclassification. Alright? Reclassification may only be allowed after 3 consecutive years of at least VS or 2 consecutive years of outstanding performance from the effectivity of the latest position. Alright, so this is the uh, comparison between the promotion and reclassification of position. Alright? Now, uh, punta tayo sa criteria. Okay, itong criteria na nakikita nyo dito sa ating screen, uh, this is based on the MEC order uh, number 10 series of 1979. Alright, so master teacher 1 to master teacher 4 na to, ha? Okay, so syempre, pag MT1 ka, you, you should be a permanent teacher. Sa Master Teacher 2, dapat MT1 ka. Sa Master Teacher 3, dapat MT2 ka. Sa Master Teacher 4, dapat Master Teacher 3 ka. Alright? Next is that bachelor's degree for teachers are equivalent as provided in Magna Carta for teachers. Sa MT2 naman, bachelor's degree for teachers are equivalent as provided in the Magna Carta for teachers plus completion of academic requirements for 
Master Degree. For Master Teacher 3, MA Education or Equivalent. So, meron two choices dito. Letter A, Bachelor's Degree for Teachers or Equivalent plus at least 20 years experience and at least 20 units of Master Teacher's Degree. Uh, masteral. Or letter B, Bachelor's Degree for Teachers or Equivalent plus at least 20 graduate units and at least 18 credit allowances. Okay? While in Master Teacher 4, you, ha you have to be at least an MA in Education or MAT or MAET. Alright? So, number 3, sa rating naman natin, tingnan natin ha, very satisfactory performance for at least 2 years. Okay, so at least 33 points sabi dito. Meaning, you will have to get the average of your rating. So, yung rating mo dapat sumampa ng 33 points. Okay, so next, MT2, very satisfactory rating at least 33 points as Master Teacher 1 or ESP 1. Ayan. So, pareho silang at least 33 points but then dito sa MT2 as Master Teacher 1 dapat. Okay? Very satisfactory performance rating for at least 2 years. Ayan. Pagdating naman sa Master Teacher 3, dapat meron kang at least 35 points as Master Teacher 2. Okay? And MT4 you should be, you should have at least outstanding performance rating as Master Teacher 3. Okay, so kailangan, outstanding na. Okay, lastly, ito na tayo. At least, sa Master Teacher 1, at least you should have 25 points in leadership and potential or has been a demonstration teacher on the district level plus 15 points in leadership and potential. Okay. Ibig sabihin, kung wala kang demonstration teaching, you should have at least 25 points na uh, points from the uh, leadership and potential. Pero, kung meron kang de uh, demonstration teaching, at least, ang pinakamababa is on the district level, da pwedeng i-consider yun. Plus, 15 points ng leadership and potential. Okay, sa master teacher to naman, at least you have 30 points in leadership and potential and achievement or demonstration on the division level. So, kung hindi mo na meet si 30 points, dapat uh, demonstration teacher ka within the division o uh, pataas plus 20 at least 20 points on the leadership and potential, provided that activities or accomplishments listed for this purpose had not been used or credited for earlier promotions. So, yung mga dati na natin nagamit sa mga promotion, uh, prior promotion natin, hindi na natin dapat gamitin sa ating susunod na promotion. Right, So, sa Master Teacher 1, Master Teacher 2, may consideration pa provided that you are a demonstration teacher. Alright, but then, pagdating sa Master Teacher 3 and Master Teacher 4, as we can see, wala na pong consideration na demonstration teaching. Yet, sa Master Teacher 3, you should have at least 45 points in leadership, potential, and achievement provided that the activities or, or accomplishments cited for this purpose has not or had not been credited for an earlier promotion. While in Master Teacher 4, you should have at least 60 points in the leadership, potential, and achievement again provided that the activities or accomplishments cited for this purpose had not been credited for an earlier promotion. Right? Again, in short, lahat ng papers na ginamit natin in sa prior promotion natin, dapat hindi na natin siya gagamitin. Okay, so this is the table on credit allowances. This is used to offset deficiency in educational preparation or years of service requirement for purposes of determining the MA equivalent. Alright, uh, take note ha, any activity or accomplishment already used for an earlier promotion may not be used for the next promotion. For example, if the scholarship, if the scholarship of one year 
in 1975 has been credited for the Master Teacher 1 position, the same may not be credited for purposes of promotion for Master Teacher 2. Okay, so malinaw po ayan. And again, this is based on the MEC Order number 10, series of 1979. Okay, so this is how... Uh, these are the equivalents, alright? So, if you have a scholarship and training grants without academic credits in educational fields, so if you have one year scholarship, it is equivalent to five units. While if you have 10 months of scholarship or training, it is equivalent to three units, alright? So, if you have six to nine months of scholarship or training, you can get t two units, while if you have two to five months of scholarship, or training you will get one unit while if you have one month and below you will get a uh, 0.5 unit all right so let's go to the awards and commendations for excellence in any aspect of education given by MEC officials all right so if you get the national award it is equivalent to five units if you have the regional award it is equivalent to four units and if you have the division award you will have two units while if you have the district award it is equivalent to one unit all right letter c official educational travel outside the country for every travel abroad of at least one week is equivalent to one unit and if it is two weeks or more it is equivalent to two units all right letter d in service training seminars and workshop all right if you have attended seminars on relevant subject areas, it is equivalent to one unit for every 15 hours. Alright? So, if you have attended workshop on relevant subject areas, it is also equivalent to one unit for every 15 hours. Okay? And again, if you have uh, attended work conferences on relevant subject areas, it is also equivalent to one unit for every 15 hours. Again, this table on credit allowances is based on the MEC Order number 10, series of 1979. So, these are the requirements on our division. Ewan ko lang sa ibang division kung same lang din. Letter A, application letter. Of course, you need to uh, submit an application letter that you are applying for that position. Letter B, recommendation letter from your school head. Letter C, School Screening Committee Certification and the Pre-Evaluation or Assessment of Documentary Requirements. So, ito ay kung dumaan, kung, kung nagre-require ba ang division nyo na dumaan na sa school level yung screening ng inyong mga documents. Alright? Letter D, Updated Service Record. Ayan, alam naman natin yan kung paano kinukuha sa atin. Letter E, performance ratings for the last two rating periods. So, for example, magpapapromote ka ng uh, 2021 to 2022 or 2020 to 2021. So, dapat ang ipapasa mong performance rating mo ay school year 2018 to school year, uh, school year 2018 to 2019 and school year 2019 to 2020. And then, you will get the uh, average of your IPCRF rating. So, dapat i-base natin dun sa diniscuss natin kaninang average kung papasok ba yung inyong uh, na-compute na average of your performance rating. Alright? And of course, photocopy of your PRC license. So, dapat updated ang inyong PRC license. Ayan. So, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-renew, make sure that nakapag-renew ka na. Okay, letter G, transcript of records. Ayan, importante ito to prove that talaga nag-aral ka. And letter H, lastly, the other document documents as stated or contained in MEC Order Number 10, Series of 1979. Okay, so dito na po mapasok yung ating uh, leadership and potential sa pag -re rate sa atin. Okay, so take notes on this, ha? Pursuant to MEC Order Number 10, Series of 1979. Ito yung guidelines na ginagamit kapag nag-re-rate ng master teacher. So, this, the title of this memoranda or memorandum is the criteria for master teachers. A candidate must possess all the qualifications indicated below to be considered for the master teacher position. Alright? So, baka magtaka kayo, ano ba ang naging basihan? Again, you have to check on MEC Order Number 10, Series of 1979. And, we will be discussing it here on our video. So, keep watching. Ayan. So, dito, 
Uh, ipapakita ko lang muna sa inyo yung kabuuan na credit points for leadership and accomplishments. Later on, uh, we will be discussing this one by one. Alright, so letter A, introduced or initiated any of the following which was adopted or used by the school dis or district not initiated by principals. So, all in all, 20 points yan. Letter B, served as. So, kung nag ka as uh, subject coordinator, grade chairman, advisor or of a school publication for at least 2 years and then club advisor for at least 2 years. Ayan. So, 12 points po yung ating letter B. Letter C, served as. Again, 12 points ulit. Served as a uh, special committee to prepare instructional materials. Ayan. Chairman to prepare intermediate school program. So, dito ay yung schedule ng ating intermediate classes or even action plans kung ikaw ay coordinator. And then, letter C, prepare a test. Ayan. Mas maganda ito kung division-wide yung prepare mong test. Letter D, initiated or headed an educational research activity duly approved by educational authorities either for improvement of instruction for community and development or teacher welfare. Ayan, so kung head mo, ikaw ang nag-head, you will get 12 points. But if you are just a member, you will get 7 points. Ayan. Letter E, coordinator of community project or activity or of a program of another agency or coordinator of a rural service improvement activity in a community such as feeding, nutrition, agro-industrial agro fairs, etc. for at least 2 years. Then, you will get 12 points and kapag participation ka lang, as member, you will get 7 points. Again, nakita natin dito yung feeding. Again, hindi natin, hindi consider dito yung feeding na binibigay sa at ng school natin. Bakit? Because this is not a community project. Kasi project ng ating department, departamento yung feeding na ginagawa sa school natin. You can consider feeding kapag ang nag-initiate na ito ay, ay ang, ang, ang barangay or ang inyong church. Or, or any um, organization outside Department of Education. Alright? Letter F. Okay. Organized, manage, and in-service activity for similar activity. 12 points. Ayan. Credited with meritorious achievements. Okay. So, kung naging trainer coach ka, athletic coach for athletes or teams who won prizes. And then, coordinator of Boy Scout or Girl Scout activities. 10 points. Authorship. So, dalawa yung authorship natin, kung book or kung article. Alright? For a total of 100%. Alright, so appropriate guidelines in the ranking of master teacher applicants. So, let's check the attachments needed. Alright, so ito na yung letter A na tinatabik natin kanina. Okay? Letter A. A.1 or A-1 curriculum instructional materials na not outputs in of any seminar workshop. Okay? So, pwedeng pumasok dito yung ating self-learning modules kung nag-author kayo or nag-initiate uh, and kung nag-author kayo sa inyong division. Um, strategic intervention material. Pasok dito. Yan. So, ano ba ang attachments needed? So, of course, the copy of your material. And then, number two, certification signed by the school head that such candidate prepared the materials and was utilized by the teacher. Ayan. Uh, 1.3, certificate of recognition by subject area supervisor. So, pwede din na uh, yung superintendent kung uh, nagbigay ang inyong division. Alright. Uh, 1.4, presentation of finished product for the evaluation of the quality and the quantity of output. So, should, uh, remember that you should have at least a minimum of 40 copies per set. And lastly, certificate of recognition signed by a committee in the division office including the superintendent. So, those are, your, uh, the, those are the documents needed para uh, so that you can show that you are entitled to have this. Yan. So, ito nga pala yung example ng strategic intervention material. So, ito yung isa sa mga ginamit ko. Ayan. Uh, ganito yung certification na binigay sa akin. And then, sa, sa SIM namin. And then, yung uh, recognition sa akin dun sa SIM na ginawa ko. Or strategic intervention na ginawa ko. Ayan. Okay. So, ito yung 
uh, accomplishment report. Uh, magtataka kayo, Blanco, of course, blinang kuko po siya para at least uh, to serve just uh, just to show, for uh, just for the sake of our demonstration or showing you the kinds of um, proof or MOVs na ginawa natin yung ating uh, ipinapasa or kiniklaim na points. Yan. Tinakpan ko po yung pangalan for uh, the security or for the privacy for privacy purposes ng mga taong involved. Self-learning modules na nakag-author. Next, wala ka nung, ano, nung sinasabi natin ganun. So, pwede natin gamitin ito. A2, effective teaching techniques or strategies. Ito. Dapat ito ay demonstration teaching. So, how will you show or how will you prove that you are a demonstration teacher. At least dito, kung magpaparang ka as master teacher 1, mas maganda kung division level. ba? Kasi, eto yung points on how, sil paano sila nagbibigay. Sa school-based, 5 points, district 8 points, division 11 points, regional 14 points, national 17 points, international 20 points. Alright? So, certification, Ayan, certificate mo, and then your DLL or your lesson plan, and then pictures showing during uh, pictures showing the teacher during the demonstration teaching lesson. Alright, so paano kung wala ka pa rin nito? Wag pa rin mawala ng pag-asa. Ayan, so ito yung certificate, DLL, picture, ayan. Okay, so, paano kung wala ka pa rin nun? So, meron ka dapat simplification of work in reporting system, record keeping, etc. or procedure that resulted in cost reduction. Ayan, lalong-lalo na ngayon, pandemic. I'm sure maraming teacher ang gumagawa ng mga Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google sa pag-consolidate -pag ng mga data na kailangan natin. So, I think pwedeng pasok dito yon. Kasi, bakit? Sinimplify natin yung paggawa ng mga reports natin. Okay, anytime, anywhere na access yung mga reports natin. And of course, this resulted to cost reduction. Why? Kasi nga, uh, once na nag ginamit nila yung system na ginawa mo, hindi na natin kailangang mag-print or magpasa sa school ng mga printouts. Right? So, nakatipid pagdating sa pagpiprint ng kapel. Okay, sa so school-based, 6 points, district 13 points, and then division 20 points. Alright, so A3, proof na showing simplification of work duly signed by the school principal. Certificate of recognition for the simplification of work signed by the division office, committee, or superintendent. Presentation of outputs and then description of your project. Right? So, ito, example. Ayan, presentation of outputs and then description of the project. So, paano kung wala ka pa rin nun? Okay, last, meron kang pag-asa. So, dapat meron kang worthwhile income generating project for pupils given recognition by higher officials in the division. At least in the division, ha? So, kung school level, you have 5 points. You will get 5 points, rather. So, in district level, you will get 10 points. In the division level, you will get 15 points. And then, on the regional, you will get 20 points. Right. So, what's what are the documents needed? Certificate of recognition or citation signed by a committee in the division, including the superintendent. Narrative report of the income generating project duly signed by the school principal. Ayan. And then income statement duly attested by the school principal again, and copy of the project proposal approved by the school principal and the person in charge in the division office. Right? So, let's say for example, dito sa A4, meron kang 5 points. Dun sa A3, uh, sa demonstration teaching, meron kang 5 points. Kasi sa, let's say for example, um, <clears throat> puro school base ang papers mo. Pwede naman. Uh, let's say for example, dun sa A1, tsaka sa A2, puro school based ka. So, cumulative um, bawat bawat criteria sa under letter A pwedeng mabigyan ng points para makuha mo or mabuo mo yung 20 points so that's how it goes right kasi napakahirap nga naman na i-target natin lagi ang regional ang division level diba kasi 
lang lagi nating ginagawa is more on school based. Okay? So hindi mawawala yung mawawala nang saysay yung ginagawa natin sa school based natin. Yeah. So this is an example of the income generating project na pwedeng yung gawin. So sample lang po ito, ha. Okay, letter P. Serves as grade chairman. Ayan. So we'll be discussing this thoroughly. Serves as subject coordinator for at least one year. All right. So kapag one year lang, you will get two points. Kapag two years, you will get four points. In three years, you will get six points. In four years, you will get eight points. On five years, you will get ten points. And then six years or more, you will get twelve points. Ayan. Kasi yung uh, maganda to kapag talagang simula nung pumasok ka hanggang ngayon ay coordinator ka, automatically you will get 12 points provided that you will be you will have uh, the following documents. Of course, your designation signed by your school principal, report of accomplishments attested by the school principal, certification as subject coordinator, stating inclusive date of service signed by the school principal. Alright? So, kapag ina-appoint kayo sa any position, you should have, you should always ask for your certificate of appointment. And then, you should always prepare an accomplishment report every end of the school year to uh, prove that you function as coordinator and your designation. Ayan. So, ito yung mga proof natin. Okay? Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa aking sample, um... Hmm. Meron dito, tinakpan ko po yung pirma ha, for the sake of data privacy of the peoples that are, who signed in my certificate. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo, meron ditong used. That means, nung time na ginamit ko to, nung nagparang ako, pinirmahan so that, hindi ko na siya magagamit sa aking mga susunod na promotion. So wag na mag wag kayong magtatampo kung bakit. Kasi minsan sa dami nating papers, minsan nalilito tayo alin na yung nagamit, alin yung hindi. That is why some of the committees in the division level ay kailangan nilang maglagay ng mark. Okay? Next, paano kung hindi ka coordinator? Ayan. So pwede pa rin ma-consider kung ikaw ay grade level chairman or yung grade leader. <coughs> For at least one year. Imagine, kung one year, you will get two points. For two years, four points. For three years, six points. For four years, eight points. For five years, ten points. And then, for six years or more, twelve points. Alright? Again, you will need to present the following documents. A designation, accomplishment report, certification, and the list of your members under your chairman. Ship. So, these are, again, the documents that I have presented during my promotion. Prior promotion, rather. So, paano kung hindi ka naging coordinator, hindi ka naging grade level chairman? Again, pwede ka rin makoconsider din kung ikaw naman ay isang school publication advisor. Again, same points ang binibigay 1 year, 2 points, 2 years, 4 points 3 years, 6 points, 4 years, 8 points 5 years, 10 points 6 years or more ay 12 points what you, are the documents needed? the designation signed by your school principal and a copy of your publication lastly so kung wala ka nung tatlo ito pa, pwedeng pwede club advisor for at least 2 years Ayan, same points. 1 year, 2 points, 2 years, 4 points, 3 years, 6 points, 4 years, 8 points, 5 years, 10 points, 6 years or more, 12 points. Again, designation signed by your school principal, report on accomplishments, certificate as club advisor, and the list of officers duly attested by your school principal. Okay, for example, uh, naka 2 years ka as club advisor, Naka 2 years ka as uh, school paper advisor. Naka 2 years ka din as grade chairman. Naka 2 years ka as subject coordinator. So, yung 2 years natin ay equivalent into 4 points. Ayan, 16 points. Eh, kung 12 points lang ang kailangan. So, yung isa, mamimili ka doon kung alin ang iiwanan mo. Kasi yung iiwanan mo na hindi mo magagamit ngayon, pwede mong magamit sa susunod na ranking. Okay? So, ganun po siya. 
Alright, again, list of officers duly attested by the school principal. Ganito po yung itsura niya. Ito po, nung ako ay is, uh, naging Red Cross Youth Advisor, so meron kaming uh, set of officers. Ayan, tinakpan ko rin po yung pagkakakilala nila for uh, uh, the data privacy. Okay, letter C, serves as Special Committee to Prepare Instructional Materials. Chairman to Prepare Intermediate School Program. Prepare Test. Again, 12 points. Kahit isa lang dito, meron ka ng 12 points. Hmm. Yan. So, Special Committee to Prepare Instructional Materials. Okay. Paano kung school level? 2 points lang. Pag division level, 5 points. Pag regional level, 7 points kapag member ka. But if you are the, the chairperson in the district and the school level, you will get 4 points. If you are the chairperson on the division level, you will get 8 points. And if you are the chairperson in the regional level, you will get 12 points. Right? So, designation signed by the school principal as well. Certification as chairman. Stating the inclusive date. Again, signed by the school principal. List of your members under the chairmanship. Duly attested by the school principal. And sample of the instructional materials prepared. Yeah. So, preparing signs. Oh, so, pwede rin ditong pumasok yung SIM. So, depende kung saan i-consider sa inyo kung saan ipapasok sa inyong division. Alright, again, ayan, so as you can see, meron ding sperma ng used. Alright, so I have here the list of my members under my chairmanship. Chairman to prepare intermediate or school program or action program. Again, designation signed by the school principal. Copy of the school program or action program prepared, duly attested by the school principal, or list of members under the chairmanship, duly attested by the school principal. So, if you are the chairman or chairperson, you will get 12 points, even if it is just a school level. So, dito walang pinag-uusapan na school district, division level, or regional level. So, kung ikaw ay chairman, automatic 12 points provided that you will. Uh, need to uh, provide these documents. So, these are just an example, ha? So, eto, lagi tayong pinapagawa sa at, madalas pinapagawa sa atin ito. So, 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 kung ikaw ay gumawa ng, ng test in the school level, you will get 4 points. If you are in the division level, 4 points. Remember, kapag ikaw ay member, ang maximum points na makukuha mo ay 7 points. But if you are the chairperson, you will get 6 points kasi school level, while in the division level, you will get 12 points. Alright? Designation, again, copy of the test prepared, uh, attested by the school principal, report of findings, item analysis, and certification as chairman, duly attested, again, by the school principal. Alright? So, hurit say, kay, uh, pwedeng gamitin tong tatlong to kung meron kayo sa para makuha mo yung maximum na 12 points. Let's say, for example, puro uh, school level ang, ang papers mo. No problem. Pwede i-consider yun para makuha mo yung maximum na 12 points. Alright? Next, a letter D. Ayan. Initiated or headed an educational research Activity duly approved by education authorities either for improvement of instruction for community development or teacher welfare. So again, the maximum level is 12 points. Alright, so if you are the chairman or ikaw yung head, you will get 12 points kapag regional level, 6 points kapag division level. But if you are just a member, kung ilan kayo na member divided by the number of members. So, let's say for example, 7 kayo na member divided by 7. Again, ibig sabihin, you will get 1 point kapag dinivide siya by 7. So, what are the documents needed? Copy of the research proposal duly approved by the provision office. Copy of the completed research work duly approved by the DepEd Regional Office. Letter E, Coordinator of Community Project or Activity or of 
program of another agency or coordinator of a rural service improvement activity in a community such as feeding, nutrition, agro-industrial fairs, etc. for at least two years. So, hindi pwede yung ngayon lang ngayong buwan na to nagkaroon ng feeding program or tree planting. Hindi siya basa-basa makukonsider. Bakit? Kasi one day lang. Kasi ang sabi sa ating MEC order, it should be at least for two years. So, kapag member ka for at least 2 years, 2 points lang. 3 years, 3.5 points. For 4 years, 5 points. For 5 years, 6.5 points. 6 years or more, you will get 7 points. But if you are the coordinator itself, for 2 years, you will get 2 points. 3 years, you will get five uh, 3.5 points. For 4 years, you will get 6 points. 5 years, you will get 8 points. And 6 years or more, you will get 12 points points. Alright? So, what are the certificates needed? Certification or certi as coordinator of the community project indicating inclusive years signed by the barangay captain or head of agency and attested by the school principal. Report of accomplishment attested by the barangay captain and school principal or list of officials duly attested where the name appears. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, again, katulad ng na-mention ko kanina, kung feeding, yung feeding program ng DepEd, hindi po consider Kasi nga, ang sabi dito, within the community project. So, program of another agency supposed to be. Alright? Letter F. Ayan. Organized, manage in an in-service activity or serves as a resources speaker facilitator in an in-service activity or similar activity at least on the school level. Ayan, so eto na to. Uh, let's say for example, nagkanda ka ng lock session, ikaw ang gumawa ng matrix ng uh, inyong uh, training. So, considered siya. School level man yan, kahit sa ang level, you will get 12 points provided that you have the designation to conduct an in-service training in the school and the program of activities showing work committees and designated chairman or, and members on the number of days of the seminar, minimum of 2 days or 4 half days seminar or 16 hours. Again, if you are the chairperson for the 24 hours training, you will get 12 points. Provided, dapat kompleto tong dalawa, ha? For 16 hours, you will get 6 points. Member in 24 hours, you will get 6 points. Member in 16 hours, you will get 3 points. Ayan. So, appointment or designation and then approved by the division superintendent. Yung activity po na ginawa ko or nang kinandak ko last March uh, 1... 2017 served uh, or organized managed an in-service activity or other similar activities at least in the school level again 12 points if it's international national level 9 points regional level 7 points division level 5 points district level 3 points alright so ang kailangan lang dito ay certification as a resource speaker in an in-service activity in the school alright so, training certificate. Ayan. So, again, nakita nyo used. Ibig sabihin, nagamit ko po siya. Credited with meritorious achievements, which is 10 points po ang maximum. Trainer or coach to contestants who receive prizes or commendations or any form of recognition. Athletic coach of athletes or teams who won prizes. And then, coordinator of Boy Scout or Girl Scout activities. So, again, maximum of 10 points. Alright. So, trainer coach to contestants who receive prizes, commendations, or any form of recognition. Again, if district winner ka, 1 point, division winner 3 points, regional winner 5 points, national winner 10 points. So again, what are the documents needed? Designation as coach or trainer, copy of awards or proof of awards received by the contestants, certification as coach trainer with the name of the contestant level, date, Venue and price received, whether first, second, or third, signed by the authorities. Okay, so designation, certification, and then the certification. Right? Credited with meritorious achievement again, athletic coach of at least or teams who won prizes as follows. Again, you will need to have your designation as trainer or coach and then copy of certificate or award received by the athlete, teams, or certification signed by proper official. Again, school... A district level, 1 point. Division level, 3 points. Regional level, 5 points. National level, 10 points. Okay. So, ito yung ating nagamit. 
coordinator of Boy Scout or Girl Scout activity, district level 1 points, division level 3 points, regional level 5 points, national level 10 points. Okay, certification as coordinator and then certification of accomplishments as BSP or GSP coordinator. Okay, and lastly, letter H, authorship. Okay, published books that are on educational re related. So, kailangan education related siya. Kapag hindi, hindi siya ma, ma credit Or published article that are education related as well. So, 10 points. So, sa published books uh, that are on education related, so, ang doc documents needed mo lang is the book itself. So, kapag solo mo yung authorship, you will get 10 points. And then, kapag co-authorship, 5 points shall be divided by the number of authors. Alright? So, kung, kung lima kayong authors divided by 5, equivalent to 1 point. So, wala kayo papakita dito kasi wala naman akong book itself published article that are an education related. So, one article point per article maximum of 10 points. So, kung pwede kang mag, mag, mag pwede kang mag marami. Basta't ang maximum ay 10 points. Certification that the school candidate wrote the article in a certain magazine date of issue and the page it appeared. Ayan. And then, copy of the magazine where the article appeared. So, dito papasok yung ating school paper. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, comment down below kung anong masasabi nyo sa ating video. And of course, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please click subscribe. Thank you and God bless.